Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. I'm really excited for the video today because today has kind of been crappy and so I was really happy to set up my camera and just to start filming because I love talking with you guys. Even though I'm actually talking to a camera, I know that some of you guys, a very small few of you guys are actually watching this video and I thank you so much for that and I hope more people get to come and see my videos. So yes, you read the title correctly. Today I'm going to be reviewing masks that I got at Ross. So this set is from Global Beauty Care. It features three masks, one that says Dead Sea Minerals, the other that says Charcoal, and the last that says Clay. And it comes with kind of like a applicator, which is really cool. And I found this and one of the most appealing things about it because I am one of the cheapest if not the cheapest person that I know it is $7.99 that's how much I got it for and I was like whoa so I was like you know what I think I'm gonna review it for my channel and give it a shot now I got it I came home I didn't look at the ingredient list until much later but I kind of figured that the ingredients are going to be really bad and it's because $7.99 like how could there be good ingredients? But when I did some research, I was actually really surprised to read through the entire list. I was shocked at what I found. I was like, wow, I'm really not finding any bad ingredients. I'm only finding good ingredients and some really good ones that usually I can only find in like high-end skincare. So before I try the product, of course, I'm going to go through the ingredient list and let you guys know which ones stood out to me, both the good and the bad, and what I think of it before I put these bad boys on. So rather than going mask by mask, I'm just gonna go through all of them and read out the good ingredients that I found within all of them. So one of the best ingredients that I found was sodium laureth 8 sulfate, which you may be confusing with sodium laurel sulfate, which is not good. That is not a good ingredient. It can be really drying and harsh on the skin. This one is because it's moisturizing to the skin. Another good ingredient that I found was propylene glycol, which is similar to glycolic acid, really good for the skin, good for moisturizing and deep cleansing, I believe. Another one is glycerin. Of course, that's an amazing ingredient. Sodium hyaluronate, which is amazing because it's almost like hyaluronic acid, which if you don't know what hyaluronic acid is, I will include a link to my video explaining what it is down below. But sodium hyaluronate is basically a more concentrated and stronger form of hyaluronic acid, so it's amazing. Allantoin, also a good ingredient, and caprylic triglyceride. I was really impressed by all those ingredients because I was like, wow, those are pretty powerful. Usually I can only find those in really good skincare and even high-end brands that I know, they don't even have that many ingredients in it. And that's not including the vitamin E, vitamin B, vitamin A, vitamin C that I'm finding in these as well. These are just some, some of the top ingredients. So mama was a bit shook. I was like, oh, this looks like it's gonna be a really good set, but we'll have to see, I have to try it on first. The only one that was iffy to me was pearl powder and the reason is because pearl powder is very fine and can rest in the pores and sometimes be irritating to the pores but it was the very last ingredient on two of the masks and honestly not a big deal because when it's the very last it means it's the lowest concentration so I'm not too worried. Pearl powder is a much better substitute for talc so I'm not really complaining. Now that we've been through the ingredients, let's go ahead and try on these masks. I'm just going to address what each mask is for and apply it to those troubled areas of my face. So the first one is with Dead Sea Minerals. It helps to draw out dirt, oil, and impurities, and it helps to nourish, moisturize, and improve skin clarity. Because I have dry cheeks, I'm gonna put this top one on my cheeks to help moisturize them. The second one is a charcoal mask, which obviously is deep cleansing, and it clogs pores and lifts away impurities. So I'm going to be doing this on my nose because heaven knows that I need some cleansing for my pores on my nose because they're like craters. The last mask is clay and it's deep cleansing and it has vitamin A, C, and E. And I'm going to put this one on my forehead and on my chin. So let's get started. Okay, so I applied some micellar water to my face just to kind of cleanse it, so that's why I'm looking a bit fresh right now. So this I'm going to put on my cheeks because they're the dry area. Not gonna lie, it smells a little bit uh, chemically, but I read through the ingredient list, it's fine. Let's see if this boy works. I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to use. This might be more than enough. And I'm gonna put it across my cheeks. Ooh. Okay, so it instantly feels really cooling to the skin. It's really nice. 
I may have used a bit too much for this side. But I'm also going to get lightly in the under eye area, but not too high up because I don't know if this is eye safe. I have to say I really like this applicator. It just nicely glides across the skin, evenly spreading out the product. So whether I like this product or not, I'm probably going to use this applicator for future masks. So I finished applying the moisturizing mask to both cheeks. Now I'm going to go in with the charcoal mask, which is going to be for my nose area. Oh, whoa, do you guys see that? It's, it's like a gel. I expect it to be like clay-like, but no, that is like gel and it looks like it has sparkles in it. That's probably the pearl powder is what I'm seeing. I'm just going to take that nose. Okay, not gonna lie, because it's a gel-like formula, it's a bit difficult to get it evenly coated across the surface of my nose because it's like super patchy. So I tried to apply it as best I could to my nose. It's a little difficult and in some areas I'm using way too much product and in other areas I'm using like barely any product. It's so, it was kind of difficult to apply it, but hey, I got it on my nose. Now let's just wait and see what happens. The last mask is the clay face mask, which I'm going to put on my forehead and on my chin. Oh, this one smells good. And look, it's like filled to the brim. Ooh. I instantly like this one more because it's much easier to spread out over the surface of the face without it being patchy. Honestly, it feels like I'm applying butter all over my face. Like, look at how smooth that is. And I think we're good. I'm going to be back in about 10 minutes to see how this works out. I'll wash off my face and then I'll let you guys know what my final thoughts are of this mask collection. I'm back. So I just finished rinsing off my face. Uh, the nice thing was that it was not too difficult to rinse off because they were largely liquid based. Um, the clay didn't dry down. Obviously the gel on the nose did not dry down and the cheeks didn't dry down either. So when I rinsed it off, it was just like poof, gone. My nose looks pretty clear. I do have to say that. I usually have a pretty red nose because it gets sunburnt all the time. It's like a big sundial on my face. But the pores look pretty cleansed. I am somewhat impressed. They're not like crazy, but there's something there. I could see a little bit of cleaning. My cheeks don't necessarily feel moisturized, but they don't feel dry either. Kind of like a balance. I'm not noticing too big of a difference on my cheeks, to be honest. There's nothing crazy there. My forehead feels moisturized. I will say that. It feels very, like, firm, moisturized. There's a little bit of burning sensation, just a tiny bit, which usually would make me concerned, but I've had a lot of masks that work really well, and they burn for a little bit, so it's not too big of a deal. That's pretty normal with clay masks, I believe. But um, yeah, my skin feels somewhat tight. It feels moisturized. The pores don't necessarily look clean, but they don't look bad either. To be honest, I feel like there's not like a huge difference in my skin. There's not anything like major. I mean, it feels nice. My nose feels good. I'd probably say if I was to go back in with something, I'd go back in with the one I used on my nose. Other than that, there's not too huge of a difference. And I mean, it's, for me, to be expected. It was $7.99. I'm not too blown away by that. But you know what? I say my personal favorite part of this kit was probably the applicator. I loved the applicator and I'm definitely going to use that with future masks. I could see myself maybe using these again, but my kind of go-to for masks is, is like Peter Thomas Roth. I absolutely love their masks and I definitely would recommend theirs over these. But if you're just looking for a basic mask, you've never done masks before, you want to try something not too intense, but something that gets you to, you know, begin to understand masks, totally recommend this one because there is a little bit of a difference, but it's not too stark. And yes, even though it's a cheap price point, I'd probably recommend using your money towards something a bit higher quality and more expensive like Peter Thomas Roth, like Mario Badescu. My overall thoughts, it was good, not too great, I'm not too impressed, freaking loved the applicator, meh. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have tried the masks, let me know in the comments. Or if you tried other masks that you really love, please let me know. I'd love, love to try them out. I think it'd be so much fun. And maybe even make a video on them in the future. 
We'll see. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos about skincare every Tuesday and Thursday. You'll be able to learn all about what ingredients to look for, what products are best, what my personal take on a lot of products are, etc. There's tons for you to see and I'm super excited for you to be a part of it. So hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you know right when I upload. Thank you guys for watching.